apologize. You've uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill... Got nowhere to go! Look who out there! Circle round him! So what? You gonna kill me now? Good idea. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure it while we can. My man can secure this district with one eye closed. That's not a problem. The problem will come if you try to take it away from us at our next sit down. Why did I become a priest? Every bad thing you experience, every trauma, they, they never leave you. Sure, you might forget about them for a while, but when the next one comes along, no matter how slight, it brings everything back. It reminds you of the weight you been lugging around. I knew I couldn't carry all that on my own. If you're ready to lay hands on Tony D, get in. How did you manage to get to Tony DeRazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. Six, 
Oh, 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 Razio ain't a second chance type. Do your job, and you might just live to see Monk too. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, it's gonna roll downhill real We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. What's up? Goodbye. You should clear on out of here. Huh. Hey! Hey! Over here! Come get me, punk! We're having some cover. Got him dead. Back to the punk! You certainly are audacious, aren't you? Filthy. He's reloading! Rush him! You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? Idiot! Go ahead. Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. No one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Respond with caution. 
Spawn. Be advised. Suspect now in a vehicle. Spawn. There you are, lad. Looking forward to the scene where this shade goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? <clears throat> Listen here, you put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision Ain't nothing to discuss. From where I'm sitting, it looks like you already got a plan for this part of the city. I think what my two friends here are trying to say is, calling and help to lock down rackets sets a certain level of expectation. You might want to keep that in mind next time, kid. We got a lot of fragile egos here. You trusted me this far, Lankin? There's only one smart play here. We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. What do you think Marcano is doing out there while we're sitting here with our thumbs up, Bart? They ain't had a lot of people stand. Throw a cripple a bone, lassie. You know I can handle this. Come on, kid. Where you going with this? Go on there. Time's a wasted. Give us your choice. Don't keep me waiting. Spit it out already. I don't think she really has anything to offer, so I ain't doing her. Either one of these two. Probably this one. This turf's going to the Irish. You got a funny goddamn definition of loyalty. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time you come calling, asking for help. Can't wait to get started on her. On everyone that comes after her as well. We done? Because I got a thing. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. <clears throat> Police are intensifying their search for the colored male believed to be responsible for the massacre at the Royal Hotel. The suspect is described as six feet three inches they're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Yeah, no Hello, puppy. I mean, Mr. Simmons let me go today. You sound happy about it. Apparently, they're having trouble with the business and he can't afford to pay me. But truth be told, I'm glad to be out of there, away from that place. Is puppy at the dump now? Yeah, why? <gasps> what are you going to do? Are you going to kill him? All depends on puppy. I'll be seeing you, Maria. I'm still not sure what Mr. Simmons got himself into. I'm going to slide on. Here we go, slide on. Got it. We'll be around shortly. Take my shot! What's that key? Please be advised, we're about to report a homicide by the 
find another man! You're fucking ten today, boy. I come to for me to put you in the dirt. Die in a dump. And even that's too good for you. I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. This is an all too familiar story we're playing out here. The last time we did this, you granted a district I secured. Oh, Ain't shut nothing up. right about that. And I don't expect it to happen again. What's gonna happen again? Probably. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna show you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Time to call Enzo. <sighs> Alright. Dial this. Yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the f Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the f I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're a mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that wop asshole from killing you. Why the f did I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me.
You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this casino, it's a giant you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and to us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fuck back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henriette. God damn. Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So, yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942. No, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying, smacks him a bit, wakes him up, but ever times. <laughs> this is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. You got some pens and needles, Lassie? Set. Turns out there's at least one sane mother Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. I'm all in on this turf, brother. My guys locked it down just like your ass. But I still got the bitter taste of our last gathering in my mouth. Do right by me this time. Action like what we got right here is like wet pussy. If it's been long enough, ain't no such thing as a bad one. I want this piece. Shit, son, I could have secured those rockets as well as anyone, probably better. You chose me to run the day-to-day -day for the last piece of the city, and I expect to be running it here as well. I gave you Richie Doucet. Trust ain't something to think long and hard about that. We talk about making mo- Ah, uh, nah. What do you think? Share the wealth, Lankin. Gonna need Beto to run this turf. No, no. I can't believe I ever let you talk me into this. I'm not just going to sit here and allow you to lie to my face. Hey, hey, I know you're used to your little Haitian boys bowing to your every whim, but Cassandra, so cool it. My patience, my understanding, it's gone, Lincoln. You correct this course we own, or there ain't no words that can walk us back from where we headed. We're all out for the same thing, Cassandra. Mixing that up between us isn't getting us anywhere. You've said your piece, Cassandra. Let it go. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make money. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. Right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray-painted God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. It's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to are other entitled pricks. So who are you going to go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. You know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. <laughs>